excited. I have a whole little challenge put together for you guys. Before we get to the little challenge, I want you guys to start thinking about your content and what is the whole purpose of content on your page. Um, I think oftentimes it feels like a big daunting task to think about what needs to be put on there and what should really be communicated to your audience. So I have a couple things that I want you guys to think about before you go into the little challenge, okay? So our main goal, you guys, is to build trust with our audience. We need people to know, like, and trust us to be able to feel comfortable and confident moving forward and working with us. So how do we do that? We do that through writing great ads, but we also do that by building rapport and creating a really strong connection with them, creating the emotional experience they need with us to feel comfortable moving forward on our page. So it's important to show up consistently with the content that we put out every day. Another piece to think about, guys, is that because marketing has changed over time, you have to think about how overwhelmed people are with content every day. They get slammed from every direction, all sorts of flashy, fun things to look at. So when we want them to look at our content, that means we have to get them onto our page first, which means we have to create content that is gonna catch their eye, that's gonna keep them interested and keep them scrolling on our page. So again, how do we do that? We connect to them emotionally through shared passions, shared interests, experiences in life, and things like that. So how do you guys put out that information the best way to do that is by really digging deep and really considering what your own passions are. The fun challenge is to really take a step back and think about your top 10 passions. Now this can be anything that you like, guys. Anything that you have experienced, anything that you love, that you really just cannot stop talking about, that you get excited to talk to people about. So those are the things I want you guys to write down. Now, after you have your list of these 10 things, I know it takes time sometimes to really just kind of figure out 10 even sometimes, guys, but after you have your list of 10 things, the next thing to do is to take some time away and film a one to two minute video about each one of these topics. You do not have to post these things, you guys. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about looking great. We just want you to get a feel for what it actually feels like to deliver information about that particular topic. I think you guys are gonna be a little bit surprised when you really dive into filming some of these videos. There's a lot of times that you're gonna find you have this interest, this passion in your life, but maybe you don't have enough information. Maybe you don't have enough experience with that thing to really be able to provide value to your audience. So as you guys are filming these videos, once you're done, I want you to again, take a step back and really ask yourself, what were the videos that you filmed that you were so happy and so excited that you could have kept talking for hours and you have so much to say, the things you felt really comfortable and confident talking about. And then what were the ones that you felt kind of weird, kind of uncomfortable, not quite sure what to say, and just couldn't really wait to get done with this. So once you know the difference, we're gonna toss out those ones that we felt kind of weird and uncomfortable. We don't wanna talk about those. The things we're gonna focus on are the ones that you were really comfortable with, really happy talking about. Hopefully, you guys wind up with a list of three to five things. Now, once you have that list of three to five things, I want you to take one more step back and I want you to film another video. This time, I want you to post it. If you're comfortable posting this, you're happy talking about it, you're confident doing it, and you have more to say at the end of filming that one to two minute value video, that's what we wanna talk about. If you guys get to the point that you're supposed to post and you can't do it, we gotta dig a little deeper. That's time to take another step back and we really wanna find those passions, guys, because once you find those three passions, the three things that you love and really wanna focus on, that's the content on our page. And coming up, we're gonna learn a little bit more about how to start weaving those things into ads, how we're gonna start providing more value, creating more content that's gonna keep people interested, keep them coming back. But then here's the other part of our content, guys. People buy based off of an emotional experience. People want to stay around something that's positive, something that gives them the feeling that they like, 
whether it's motivation, happiness, whatever it is, people buy for emotional reasons. So because of that, we have to create a strong emotional connection with our audience. Again, we do that through the content on our page and by creating great ads. People are also following your page, you guys. They're not just seeing the one ad and jumping in. So it's really important to remember that this content has to be consistent. As you guys are thinking about this, really dig deep guys. It takes some time to really find those passions and those things that you really want to talk about. But once you do, it's amazing you guys to have that thing that you're so passionate about that you know you could just keep sharing. One more thing I want to point out to you guys though is the person you are today is not the same person that you're going to be in six months or a year. So please do not believe that the topics you choose to talk about, th these three passions, are the three things that you're stuck with for the rest of forever because your passions are gonna grow and change with you. So will your content. So right now, the important thing is to choose those passions, those things that you can really get behind and stay behind, and then we'll start progressing along. So passions will change, topics will change just as you do. So find your three things, dig deep guys, and I'm looking forward to hearing how these videos go.